is Wednesday lunchtime. It's Jim White and it's Simon Jordan and it's Danny Murphy. And it's also Josh Taylor and Jack Catterall. You probably want that the other way around, do you, Jack? It's Jack Catterall and Josh Taylor. It doesn't bother me. It this doesn't is, bother we've you, We've got the fight on now. It can... OK, these two go head-to-head in Leeds on April the 27th. Uh, Jack Catterall out to avenge, he hopes, uh, the defeat he suffered at the hands of Josh Taylor. Controversial or not, uh, two years ago, if you're watching on YouTube and Facebook, many, many of you are doing that. Everybody's having their say in this. So watching, fill in the middle there. The security fella Jack's uh, right beside me here and Josh is here and so many are saying that that, that your viewers just looking at the two fighters they're Sean in Liverpool I'm no body language expert but Taylor looks up for this more than Catterall does I might be wrong but Taylor for me will take this fight Um, uh, there's Dom who's watching it saying I like how cool and calm and collected Jack Catterall is he'll be the same on the night and he'll take Taylor all day long Do, do you have a wry smile Josh when you hear the opinion of fans at this particular point, do you just think, yeah, well, think what you like? Yeah, exactly. Think what, think what you've, you want, really. You know, it's, it's irrelevant and it makes it exciting for the fans and people getting engaged. So, yeah, it's good. Is his coolness getting under your skin? No, I'm pretty cool and relaxed myself, to be honest. Do you think he ask, is, Jack? Jim, I was going to ask Jack, actually, you know, like, because he is normally quite cool. but He ain't, be, he ain't been very cool no, the last couple of days. But that's what I was going to say. Can you go into a fight too angry? Is that possible? Where yeah, you I think lose everybody bit- can, but I think... When it comes to it, it, it's a business move. It's a fight. I'm not going to let my emotions affect my actions in the ring. I think that's a stupid thing to do. Mm. Uh, I think I gave him a clip yesterday because... It affected you yesterday. I apologise for the, the bad gifts, some, some but I've got but one Listen, here for it's you. all part and parcel of uh, selling the fight. Are we, we teddy bear for you? Oh, thank hey, you. This one's name's Chippy. And Chippy. it's really nicknamed. I'll take this Chippy home and, uh, we'll, and we'll, we'll, we'll you, you can have that for sparring. You can have a good cuddle we'll and a good and cuddle and, and all that uh, of it in bed. You we'll know, practice your cuddling Taylor and stuff. And, uh, <laughs> it, it'll be finished. April the 27th. I'll send it so back a nice in the post. little thoughtful gift for you. You changed your view of him as a fighter. Because I, I think when you went into the first fight, I watched the gloves were off. I watched you and your engagement with him. He was beneath you as far as you were concerned. Yes. And, that, and that's the mentality that you should have as an elite fighter. But given the performance he put on against you, whether you agree or don't agree is irrelevant, right? But have you changed your view on him as a fighter? No, not really at all. No. Um, Even after that first fight. Yeah, because I don't, I don't think he was that great in the first fight. You know, I thought his tactics were weren't very good, and the judges obviously he dropped you, Josh. Too. He dropped you. I know he eighth. dropped me, but so a- what? How many times did you get dropped? So what? So what? Nothing. That makes no that, difference to you. Nah, like so okay. what? I thought I was winning that round, but they did do that. I was winning mm. the round. I got up, I won the rest of the round, but it goes down as a ten eight. And the judges. Does it does it irritate but, you? I mean, I, I mean, listen. He he deserves respect because he stepped. Yeah, aside. Like, listen. I do aside respect from, the guy. He like, he's a good fighter. Yeah. I do respect him. I, like, I'm not going to say you know, I just hate the guy and like, like, I don't hate anyone. <laughs> I don't hate anyone. So yeah, like, I just didn't think his tactics were great that night. Like, you know, he he carried out his tactics to a certain extent well, uh, and, but the judges didn't like his tactics. <laughs> Which was spoil and hold. Mm, I don't know about so that. this it's is all first... nonsense, then, Josh. Is that you don't hate him, and Jack, you don't hate him. As we've we've said it all week, and they've they've logged it. Hate runs deep, but hate's a strong word, and well, certainly I'm not dislike. that attached to him to hate him. Well, you just like him. He's irrelevant to me. You know, I wouldn't be going to the pub for a happy hour with him. That's for sure. Why have you taken, keeps saying... Josh? Why have you taken? I know why he's taken this fight because he feels the injustice of it, right? And it's probably the agenda that he's put behind it, and the steam yeah. and the energy that he's put behind it, and Sam Jones and all that's gone with that to get this fight on. Why have you taken it? I'm taking it because I want to fight him and put you all beat the doubt. Him in your put mind, didn't put you? the doubt. Yeah, I still thought I won the fight. All yeah, right. I still think I won the fight. I did just enough to win it. I've said it in multiple interviews. After the fight, I could have gone either way. You know, I was actually thinking, with the point it got taken off from myself, oh, well, this could be a draw here. But I certainly never thought I lost. Right. You know, but if I'd went to him by a point or two, then fair play. But I wouldn't have had all this crying and whinging and carrying on like what they did. But, but before the verdict unfair. came, Josh, but, was, you know, was there not a unfair. tiny bit of doubt in your mind as you stood in that ring? I think he's done me here. No. Not, not no. the tiniest bit? No. Did you expect your hand to be raised, Jack? One hundred percent. And and when he says no, you can tell that he's gone that far with this this lie, lying him to himself. He he can't say anything other than he thought he won the fight. So he robbed you, Jack. He didn't rob me, and I can't blame Josh for that. I think the stuff he said after the fight, the way he carried himself, wasn't great. But it wasn't Josh. It was the officials, the judges who were scoring the fight. So I don't expect, point at with, Josh with, and blame with respect, him. Respect, Jack. What do you expect him to say if he thinks he won the fight? Irrespective of what everyone else thinks, right? 
What do you expect him to say about you and the fight? Do you expect him to bow down and give you some sort of reverence? No, it, definitely not. So, what it was after the fight, it was he was that quick to react and say, I want to fight, I want to fight. And you've seen the post-fight press conference. He was like a little rabbit grab, holding mm. on to it. And it's like, he almost didn't believe it, but he was... We just falling out what of his mouth repeatedly, and then the months after the you, fight, yeah, I thought you won the fight. No, I don't just expect you to please, please me, please but I expect you to please. to be, just understand how head. boxing works. <laughs> be honest to yourself, and I think you went that far with it. You had to hold on to it, and ultimately, it's led us back to him. That far with what? Saying that I thought I won the fight. Yeah, but you didn't believe it. Okay, if that's what you think. Okay. So, t- so take it fast forward then to April the twenty seventh. So, Josh, you can have your say. How do you go about the job in hand on the night? Listen, I'm not going to say what we're planning and what we're thinking and what we're doing, but I win the fight. Me fully focused and the way I'm tuned in now, I win the fight. You win the fight? I win the fight. Josh, no how, how do mind. you go about it? I'm always focused. Tell yeah. him how you're going to go I'm about it. I'm always focused and I know what I've got to do. I've shared the ring with him once. I expect a fully fit, fully strong, fully prepared Josh Taylor, like I did last time. Uh, but I've stayed in the gym, I've been improving, and I'm going to beat him convincingly in April. Are either of you terrified, secretly terrified of losing this? No, because I ain't going to lose. It doesn't cross my mind. I don't think about losing. I work too hard every day, and I take that confidence from being in the gym and, and preparing and looking after myself that I don't think about losing to him. Do you want to be brave here? Uh, who wins it? <laughs> My gut feel says um, Josh Taylor um, because I'm a huge admirer of his. I've seen his body of work um, and I think the best version of Josh Taylor beats the best version of Jack Cattrall. But I don't know if we've got the best version of of Josh Taylor left. I think the last two performances, unless there's a sea change, I think there's a distinct possibility that Jack will beat him. But I think it's a pick 'em, and I think that's the intrigue. And there's jeopardy, and there's bad blood, not hatred. That's theatricals. Yeah, there's bad. They're in one another's way, right? And they yeah, want to get out of one another's yeah. way. And I think it's going to be a great fight. And whoever wins, you know, is going to deserve it. And I hope we don't get any stupid refereeing scoring like we did in the last mm. round, because anyone who scores that fight first fight, 117, 112, needs to have a good look at themselves. And even well, you would injuries. say that, Josh. Oh, was it the one in the scorecards, 117 112? 117 112. Ian John Lewis it? scored it 117 112, yeah, that's and that's, that's well, pouring yeah. it. Yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, you can answer that, Josh, mm. before we go. Have, have, have we still to see the best of you? I believe so, yeah. You know, I've had a couple of bad performances, one due to the one with him, and then the next one. But that, I've prepared to the best of my ability that I had with Teofimo Lopez. You know, I'm not going to have any excuses because. What's the point in saying why the legs went? What's, what's the point? The legs went. I went into the fight. I felt good on the lead up to the fight. I just wasn't good enough on the night. I never turned up on the night. But yeah, the best is still yet to come. By the way, Jack, I was, will believe another... Jack was brilliant in that fight with Josh Taylor. So let's not take yeah. that away from the equation. Yeah, and you'd admit that. He, he I was don't brilliant. think it was that great. Oh, he was, Josh. I what did you bring this time, Jack? I didn't think you could do finish it. that well. Yeah, I think I've got to build on that performance. Uh, I can't leave it. To, to the judges and I've got to beat him more convincingly this time I've, I've stayed in the gym I've watched the fight many times I've watched Josh's fights and I've got to go in there and, and execute it even better and, and keep pushing forward with it Tommy's a big fight fan saying this half hour has been gripping there's another one Sean huge fight fan this has been great I take Taylor then I take Cashel I don't really know <laughs> but what I do know this is you know this, what, Josh? Has, this has been phenomenal Phil Josh, do yesterday. We, do we do this? So, security man Phil is here. Go on. Yesterday at the, the press conference, he said, I'm going to beat you this time. So, that again to me, you don't believe you beat me last time. That's what you so said yesterday. It was recorded. That's what I meant to say. Yeah. Okay. So you're mixing your words. So doesn't really before matter. we go yeah. on YouTube so and what? Facebook, you, you don't believe it. And so live what? on Talk Sport. So Phil, what? do you want to try it? I mean, you can stay there or take a step back. <laughs> Told you. Josh, do you want to turn to Jack? Do you want to, Jack, do you want to turn to Josh? <laughs> Everyone's hoping you'll do this. What about handshake? The last time before. I said, listen, I'm, happy, on, I'm happy to shake his hand. He didn't Phil, want to do that. Take so a step back. Great. Come on, Jack. The king, of con- the king of contradiction, because yeah. I heard an interview yesterday saying you wouldn't shake me. I'll shake you, man, no problem. If you beat me, yeah. I'll be the first guy to shake your hand. You sweat because, because I'm a straight man. I'm a straight stand up guy. Yeah. Well done, boy. It's a kind well of done. moment. It's a kind of moment we want to capture. Do it again, and I'll capture it right here to prove God that it say, happened. Jim, Go on, guys. You're pushing it, Jim. Is it not? Is it not? We got it. They shook hands. Josh Taylor, I want to thank you for coming in here and, and keeping it real. Yep. And keeping it 
Uh, well behaved. Uh, yeah, Simon. Well Jack, thank you for what you've just done. Well, and whoever you. wins, um, let's hope it's well deserved. And, and let's hope that there's no dubiety about the decision this time around. We've got a gift for Sam here as well, just before we go. That's, oh, Jack's manager. He gets yeah, a teddy that, as well. That's wee Tadger. <laughs> we Tadger. For those in Scotland, you all get that one in Scotland. Down here, I'm not sure you get but that. Same <laughs> Sam. Josh Taylor and Jack Cattrall with us live here in the studios of Talk Sport. Danny, thanks as always, mate. Mr. No Jordan, problem. I'll see you thanks tomorrow. There you go, mate. I'll give that to my baby. Go, Cheers, Tadger. Mate. No worries, mate. Cheers. We'll be back tomorrow at 10. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.